There is an air of excitement in Chew Town today. Posters have been mysteriously appearing all over the place. Tonight, for one performance only, Margot, Shoe Town's very own world famous ballerina. Five o'clock at Swan Lake Cottage. Yes, tea and biscuits afterwards. It isn't exactly the neatest of posters, but then Trampy isn't exactly the best of artists. Trampy thinks that Margot is the most beautiful ballerina in the whole world and has done ever since he first saw her dance. But there was once a time when she thought she would never dance again. When Margot first arrived at the shoe repairer's shop, she had a large tear in her side. She was sure that her days as a ballerina were over, but the shoe mender had other ideas. After many hours of hard work, the shoe mender managed to repair the tear in Margot's side. She looked as good as new. The shoe mender placed her in the front window of the shop, and there she waited for the little girl who owned her to come and collect her. She waited and waited and waited, but the little girl never came. Perhaps I'll have to stay in this window forever. But one day, the shoe mender took Margot out of the window and placed her on a shelf in the back room of the shop. Margot suddenly found herself in the magic world of the shoe people. Now, Margot lives in Swan Lake Cottage. Everybody says it's the prettiest house in Shoe Town, and Margot loves to keep it that way. There's a room in Swan Lake Cottage where Margot spends time each day doing her exercises and practicing her ballet steps. She believes in getting everything just right. Trampy finishes the last poster and hurries off to hang it up somewhere. Five o'clock is approaching and he wants to make sure of a good seat at Margot's performance. The shoe people start to arrive at Swan Lake Cottage. They gather in Margot's lovely garden and talk excitedly among themselves. At last, it's five o'clock and Margot appears. She's carrying a watering can. Yeah, well, that's a bit peculiar for a ballet. The performance begins. The shoe people suddenly realize what Margot is doing. She has turned watering the flowers into a ballet, and the flowers are dancing along with her. It's the most amazing dance they've ever seen. All too soon, Margot's performance comes to an end. The shoe people clap and cheer, and Trampy gives his loudest whistle. Margot reappears with tea and biscuits, and everybody helps themselves. Evening, Margot. Marvelous show. Absolutely marvelous. Why, thank you, Sergeant Major. You should try it sometime with your flowers. Oh, no, I don't think so, Margot. Don't think they would appreciate it. Trampy imagines Sergeant Major trying to ballet dance with a watering can and thinks it's so funny that he almost chokes on his biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Trampy, <laughs> says Margot, slapping him on the back. You really shouldn't rush the biscuits. Sh -sh 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 